Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm out here in New York today with the one and only Amy Poehler for a special holiday lightning round where we're about to give people dollars if they sing Christmas songs with us. They better sing the right lyrics. Are you ready, Amy? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. Sure, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler Hi. for a dollar? For a dollar? Yeah. Yes. Here, here we go. Deck the halls with boughs of holly fall. La 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 la. Yes. 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 Tis, Tis the, the season, season to be jolly. Fall la 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 la. la, 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 la. Hey. Dawn we now are. A gay yeah. apparel! Let's go, Amy! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! He didn't know it! He didn't know good. it! Sir, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Hi! Oh my god! Yes. Yes. Here we go, here we go! Joy to the world, the Lord, the Lord has come! Yes. Let us receive a king! I don't know the words! Well, no, that's the whole point! Come on, you're Let cheating! Let every heart no, no, Super Bowl. Wait, what? No, oh, shut up. No. Oh, He's trying to be funny. He's trying to be funny. We do the jokes. Let's get out of here, we Jeff Dunham. Where's your puppet? Oh, huh. yes, sing Amy. Amy Poehler wants to sing Christmas Carol. Hi. Dashing through, through the, the snow. snow. Yes. In one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Bells on bobtail ring. Making. 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 Oh, no! Let's go, Amy Poehler! Get it right! Get it right! Sir, sir, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Hi! For a dollar? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Are you okay? Sir, ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Dashing, Dashing through, through the snow. snow. No. No, Dashing. the snow! Dashing through the snow. No. No, the snow. Not dashing through the snow. Dashing through the snow. Dashing through the snow. No, no, the man will not say snow. The man will not say snow. Oh, was it? Look at the baby, though. Oh, ladies, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Oh, sure. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Well, hi, what's his name? Arrow. Huh? Okay. Arrow. Arrow? Yeah. No, no, I'm not dealing that bullshit what? name. Let's go, Arrow. Oh, hi, I'm the Flash. Oh, oh. you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Hi. Happy birthday. No, oh, that's what? happy birthday. <laughs> Let's go. It is Jesus' birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Jesus. Woo! Miss, do you want to sing uh, 12 Days of Christmas with me and Amy Poehler? Hi. Hi. Hi, here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I don't know. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go she to the partridge knew. in a pear tree, a moron. She knew, she Everyone knew. Everyone wants a she partridge. Knew. She just didn't want to sing it. Sir, for a doll, you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? No. Nope. Oh, no, nope, doesn't no. like you. Miss, miss, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Uh, I don't think so right now. No, you have to! Get out of here! Sir, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Oh, absolutely. Here we go, what's your name? Amy. It is Amy! Yeah, that's yeah. right! What's your name? Tom Harris. Here we go. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Get in here, what's your name? Fernando. Fernando? Oh. Yes. Here we go, here we go. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hear the dollar. Yeah, you here, are. Here, come on with us. You can come on with us. You're our new carol. Oh. Come on with come us. Come on with us. We're Christmas caroling now, bitches. Fernando, come. Fernando. <laughs> sir, sir, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Fernando and Amy Poehler? This is This go. is Tom. Go. Oh, Tom. This is Tom. Oh, where's Fernando? We lost him. Oh, oh where's Fernando? Him. Sir, do you want to sing Christmas? No, no, let's go. Amy? Amy? No, he's a Hasidic Jew. No, he didn't want to sing about Jesus. Forget it. Hanukkah's over, babe. Deal with it. Sir, do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? Say that again? Do you want to sing Christmas carols with me and Amy Poehler? There hey. she is. Hey. Do you know her? No. Oh, come on, Amy! No! She was on Saturday Night Live! You don't know me? No. You know me. Yeah, you know you her. Know she was me. on Saturday Night Live. You know me! You know me! She started up right since and forgave us. It's an improv school. Amy, let's go. 12 days of Christmas. Someone here wants a goddamn partridge. I know it. Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funnier Dies, Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. And while Olivia Munn is out there somewhere trying to convince us she's just one of the guys, I'm going to hit the streets and play a game I like to call For a Dollar. Here we go. Miss For a Dollar, my dear, what's next for Terry Hatcher? Terry Hatcher? Yeah. She's the grandmother of the Superman character who has a baby with Superman. Yeah. That's next. Yeah, that's next. That's not bad. Yeah. You want her to do more Superman movies? I want her to come back in the Superman movie. <sighs> yeah. As a reminder of the past. 
Yeah. No more desperate. It's over. Desperate Housewives is over like two years ago. No more desperate. No. Well, there, no, there's right. There's no more. What the stars might be nice. Really? Wow. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. You don't think that's a step down for her? No. Really? Wow. So you think Terry Hatcher's on par with like some football player no one knows and and, and Leah Remini? Yes. Wow. She's beautiful. This is gonna start a race war. She can run fast. Huh? She can run fast. What does that have to do with anything? You said a race war. Race war meaning like white versus black, like race. Oh, I'm not into that. Well, I don't want a race war, but if you make accusations that Terry Hatcher's career is in a place where she needs to do Dancing with the Stars, what else do you think is going to happen, little woman? Sir, for a dollar, are you more annoyed or concerned by how little Johnny Galecki has aged? Concerned. Yes, correct. Thank you. Miss, for a dollar, name three wonderful people. Go. Oh, um, my friends, mm -hmm. Karen DeVries, okay. Ann Rose. Okay, I love Ann Rose. <laughs> I do too. And what's a, th a third one? Um, let's see. Oh. Kathy Overman. Kathy Overman, yes. She's a slut. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, we'll take the dollar. Thank you so oh. much. Oh. That is so nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much. I think you need some more friends. Okay, thank you. Miss, for a dollar, what was Selena Gomez saying I could come and get? I, even I didn't understand you. I am not speaking English so good. Okay, where are you from? From Poland. Oh, Poland. Wow, my grandfather was from Poland. Yes, but what are you asking me for? You know Selena Gomez? Yes, I know Selena. The singer. Yes, the singer. So she has a song. It was a popular song a few months ago called Come and Get It. Yes, yes, even I know. You know that? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So what was she telling me I could come and get? Oh, I don't know. She's too young. To yeah. me, she is any reason. Sometimes young people ask for that for any reasons. Maybe. No, but the song was like, if you want it, you can come and get it. Yeah, yes. What did she want me to come and get right away? It seems to you just have to ask her. I don't know her, though. Her what? I don't know her. Uh, me too. Right. So uh, how can I help you? Let's face it. She wanted me to come and get her p Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger, you can tickle my cameraman, or you can tell me one historic fact to pass. Billy on the street, street, Billy on the street, street. Sir, you want to play quiz in the face? You can win money right now. Oh, hell no. It's really fast. Oh. You can win money right now. What's your name? David. My name's David. David, what do you do in New York? Oh. Uh, I work Home Depot. Oh wow, Home Depot's great. You can get a lot of wood there. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I give a lot of girls wood there too. You know. <laughs> what was that? No, nah, never mind, never mind. Oh, okay, boy, you. Someone loves the L.A. King. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You got the jacket, the hat. Yeah, yeah. L.A. all day, man. From Brooklyn though, work. From Brooklyn, but also L.A. all day, also. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've read both sides. You know. Yeah, both sides. Work. Like that. Okay. Here we go, David. Here's how it's gonna work. There are two rounds of questions. If you get two wrong, you're out. If you make it to the final round, you win hundred dollars. You understand? All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger. You can tickle my cameraman, or you can tell me one historic fact to pass. Are you ready, David? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, David. Here we go. What do you do in New York other than Home Depot? What do you like to do in your free time? I'm a writer. What do you like to write? Uh, novels and... Oh, John Grisham came to town! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, hell yeah! yeah. The Firm? Yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I remember Holly Hunter, she played a secretary. She was great, Oscar nominated. I'm trying to get a movie done myself. Huh? I'm trying to get a movie done myself. What's your movie going to be about? Uh, sci-fi, sci-fi fantasy. What? Sci-fi fantasy. So, sci-fi fantasy. Oh, tell me, can you give me a little bit of the plot? A lot of important people watch this show. Well, it was about, you know, just somebody who's trying to find the battle between good and evil. They're trying to find their life. They're trying to fight for it, to fight for a good purpose. Wow, that's good. That, I've never heard that before. That's good. Yeah, it's a battle of good and evil, you know? They battle between good and evil. Yeah. Usually it's a battle between good and good, and that's so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, you're right, you're right. Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen Wicked on Broadway? No, I haven't oh, seen it's it. It's like a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. It's a little bit sci-fi. Okay, okay. Oh, great songs, too. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, right. You love Kristen Chenoweth? Not too much. Oh, okay. But, like, I'm not into Broadway too much or actors, but I love movies, though. Oh, Kristen Chenoweth, she does TV, too. She was on The West Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think Kristen Chenoweth talked about to Aaron Sorkin when she was dating him? That must have been such crazy sex. He must have just been yapping away, and she was just like, Jesus, help me, please. Yeah, yeah, you know, she'll take it, though. She'll trooper, though, for that. Yeah, yeah, Kristen Chenoweth's a trooper for taking Aaron Sorkin's d uh, 
We ain't gonna get to that. Let's get to the questions. <laughs> okay, let's get to the questions, David. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round one, question one. Which of the following is not technically a monster? You should know this, sci-fi. Which of the following is not technically a monster? A, Dr. Frankenstein's monster. B, Chelsea Handler. C, the Loch Ness monster. D, Cookie Monster. Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler, why do you say that? Uh, well, you could call him a monster, but he's not really the human, you know. <laughs> it's a woman. Yeah, he's a woman, he's a human. Yeah. Not technically a monster, yeah. yeah. Not technically a monster, David, you are? Correct, yes, B, Chelsea Handler, not technically a monster, yeah. Okay. All right, one more, okay. One more, here we go, next question. Do you like Chelsea Handler? Um, she's cool, she's cool. She yeah, cool. it's a woman. Oh, yeah, she's cool, she's cool. Yeah, okay, cool, she has a panel of comedians, they talk about topical stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love comedy all day. Oh, love me too. Yeah, all day, I love to laugh. Yeah. Laugh is healing. Laugh is healing. Laughter is healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like 17 people so far in this segment alone. Then you're gonna be blessed. Huh? You're gonna be blessed. I am blessed. Yes. Of I'm blessed like Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Sorkin's a big uh, d Here we go, we good. Okay, here we go. You remind me a little bit of a, a younger Wiz Khalifa. Uh, sh I don't smoke like him, though. I'm trying to, though. Okay, you're ch Word. Because oh, you need money for weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. Question two. Which lesbian starred in a Broadway revival of the orphan-based musical Annie? A Portia de Rossi DeGeneres, B Quavenjane Wallace, C Jane Lynch, D Broadway box office gold Tegan from Tegan and Sarah. I say C. David, the answer is it's C Jane Lynch, David! Yeah, you're on to round two, yeah! Yeah, all right. We're getting money. We're getting money now. Okay, you just won $25. Hey, where, where, I need that, where? Okay, he needs it, let's give him the $25. Here you go, it's $25 in pennies. Take oh, it. Okay. Oh, it's Pennies, okay, moving on to round two, you ready? Wait, what's gonna be 100 there? I'm gonna have a cash. You get it to the final round. Where? So I get, I get dollars now? Like, you get dollars if you win 100. You put this down, you put this down. Okay, no, you have to hold it. I gotta hold it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, okay here we go, David, on to round two. Yeah. Question one, do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend? Or? Uh, nah, nah. Nothing, you're single? Yeah. You gay or? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, we go. Okay. I don't judge though, we good though. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. Hey, why'd you touch me when you said I don't judge? Cause you looked at me kind of kind of crazy for a minute. You looked at me crazy. Okay, great, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the question. I just saw you lick your lips, that was oh, nice. Oh man. <laughs> I like that. What is the name of the last Stevie Nicks album? Yeah. A, The Dark Crystal. B, Blessings from the Night Gypsy. C, In Your Dreams. D, Aquila and the Bee. Or E, Say What You Will About Me, I'm Rich as f well, it got me either A to C, because other ones is just ridiculous, but uh, I'll, 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 I'll do the thing with the cameraman. What happened? Okay, you're going to skip the question and tickle my cameraman for 30 seconds. I got to tickle. Okay. Yeah, you got to tickle my cameraman right here. Uh, Are you ready? Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's serious. Oh, God. Okay, put 30 seconds on the clock, please. Uh, put 30 seconds on the clock. You're going to tickle my cameraman right here. Okay. And away we go. Okay. Tickle, uh, tickle. No, tickle with your fingers. Yeah. No, tickle, what? tickle, what? tickle, 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 <laughs> tickle. No, yeah, tickle, He's tickle, laughing. no, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle, Wait, why tickle. No, keep tickling, early? keep tickling. I'm from the hood, how about the... No, you gotta tickle, I don't give a shit about the hood. The... Boys in the hood be tickling now. Boys in the hood be tickling. Tickle. Oh, yeah, tickle. Crazy. He's laughing though. He's... Tickle. Oh. tickle, 30 tickle. seconds. Tickle. tickle. There we go. There we go. Time! Yes, you did it! You're in the final round, David! Yeah. Yes! Right, we okay, it. we're in the final round for $100. Here we go. This is heavy as f man. I don't care! You're a man up, bitch! All right, all right. Oh, God damn. Okay, here we go. Here we go, David. All right, all right. Final round for $100. This is how it works. In the final round, the question is subjective, which means your answer, David, has to match my answer, my opinion. Do you understand? I understand, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the question, David. Would Charles Manson like Family Guy? A, no, he would not understand its references. B, yes, he would like its rhythms and tone. C, no, he's not an animation guy. D, Charles Manson would be neutral about Family Guy. Do you know Charles Manson? Yeah, yeah, I say B, he would like, he would like Family Guy. I'll... You think Charles Manson, the serial killer, would like Family Guy? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, David, for the game, would Charles Manson like Family Guy? David is saying, yes, he would like its rhythms and tone for $100 to win Quiz in the Face. The answer is, yes, you win Quiz in the Face, David! Yeah, Charles Manson would love Family Guy! Fist bump, fist bump, yeah, yeah, yeah! Of course he
he would like Family Guy. He likes the bright colors and he likes its menacing tone. You win $100, here we go. $100 for David, there you go, David. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Mazel tov. So I'm gonna do with this. Yeah, you walk with it. You walk with it, go home. Wait, one more thing though. Oh yeah? Renegade, triple beam, look out for me. Oh, shut up. Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm out here with the delightful Paul Rudd, ready for a special lightning round that I like to call, Would You Have Sex With Paul Rudd? Billy on the street, street. Billy on the street, street. Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm out here in New York today, ready to play one of my new favorite games. Where does the Stephen King novel take place? What is your name, miss? Megan. And what do you do in New York? I manage a technology recruiting company. Well, that's boring. And what do you like to do for fun? Drink. Okay. All right, everyone. Now it's time to play my new favorite game. Where does the Stephen King novel take place? I'm going to list the name of a Stephen King novel. You have to tell me what state it takes place in. Do you understand, Megan? Yes. Okay, here we go. You a Stephen King fan? Not really. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go, Megan. If you get enough right, you win a big prize. Here we go. Where does the Stephen King novel take place? And away we go. Parts of the stand. New Hampshire. No, Maine. Dolores Claiborne. Maine. Yes, correct. Bag of Bones. Rhode Island. No, Maine. Carrie. New Hampshire. No, Maine. Cujo. Maine. Yes, correct. The Dark Half. Rhode Island. No, Maine. The Dead Zone. Maine. Yes, correct. The Dreamcatcher. New Hampshire. No, Maine. It. Maine. Yes, correct. Needful Thing. New Hampshire. No, Maine. Pet Cemetery. Maine. Yes, correct. Salem's Lot. Maine? Yes, correct, the Tommy Knocker. Maine. Maine, yes, correct, did you get it? Yes, you win! You win, where does the Stephen King novel take place? They all take place in Maine. Let's see her prize. Oh, it's it's the TMZ logo rendered in felt. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look it's at that. Get here. <laughs> Amazing, look at that. It's the TMZ logo rendered in felt. I think Harvey Levin is probably the classiest man on the face of the earth, don't you? Very classy man. Yeah, I love the TMZ bullpen. What? What can't they do? Where, where won't they go? Okay, well, that's the TMZ logo rendered and fell. Megan, thank you so much. Thanks for playing. Where does this thing, Stephen King novel take place? Maine. Correct. We'll be right back. Billy on the street. Billy on the street. Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm out here with the delightful Paul Rudd, ready for a special lightning round that I like to call, Would You Have Sex With Paul Rudd? Paul and I are going to run around and find out which New Yorkers would like to have sex with the charming and absolutely adorable Paul Rudd. Are you ready, Paul? Yeah. Take my hand. Let's go. Miss, for a dollar, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? That's Paul Rudd. Of course Rudd. I would. Yes, thank you. Here's a dollar. Yeah. Yes. Are you married? I'm not married. I'm oh. mingo, ready to mingo. Well, okay. Well, he's married with kids. Bye. Miss, miss for a dollar. Miss for a dollar. Would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Yeah. Yes, here's a dollar. Here, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Yeah. Yes, there you go. Let's go, Paul Rudd. Let's go. Sir, for a dollar. For a dollar. Would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Look at his eyes. No. Why? Because he's a man. Well, look how adorable he is. Okay, he's cute. Okay. Okay, there you go. Here, take a dollar. Let's go. Everyone wants to have sex with Paul Rudd. Miss, miss, for a dollar. Would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Oh, right. uh, no, I'm married. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, but still. No one will know. Faithful to my husband. No one will know. I'm so sorry. No one will know! Miss, for a dollar, for a dollar, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? He's right here. What? I would for nothing. Yes, yes, take your dollar. Yes, yes, thank you. Would you have sex with them? Free. Uh, for, I'll do it free. She'll do it free. We'll take your dollar. Here, At let's the same go. time? Thank you. For a dollar, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Yes. Yes, yes, thank you. Tell tell Paul Rudd how beautiful his eyes are. Your eyes are so beautiful. Yes. Tell us more about him. Um, you're a great actor. Yes. I'm I'm sorry that you're being paraded around on the street like Excuse this. me! Yeah. Give me that dollar! Wench! Let's go! It's an old-fashioned wench! Miss, miss, no. No, was that Jessica Chastain? I hope not! Miss, miss, for a dollar, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Yes! Yes, thank you, take it! You can I have a hug, Paul Rudd? Yeah, no, I did yes. not say a I hug! I know! No! Get away from Paul him! Paul Rudd, hug me! Let's go! Paul Rudd, let's go! No! 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 Oh, miss, miss, for a dollar, for a dollar, would you like to have sex with Paul Rudd, the actor? No. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! No one wants to have sex with you. I know. You should have never done dinner for schmucks. Yeah, I told you that. I think that is what has affected this poll. Sir, for a dollar, do you want to have sex with Paul Rudd? He's right here. Five dollars. No. Two? No. I can't do it for one. Excuse me, get out of here. They, they, you don't need that gay crap. Oh, boy. If you're, you're going to have sex with a gay person, go Jim Parsons or go home. Miss, miss for a dollar, would you have sex with the delightful Paul Rudd? 
Yes. Yes, thank you. Take it. Not you. Get away. He doesn't like you. Who wants to have sex with Paul Rudd? He has more money than Jason Segel. What do you have? Hulu Plus? Paul and I are here to play a wonderful game that I like to call Clueless or Childless. And away we go. Breck and Meyer. Clueless. Yes, correct. Jay Leno. Childless. Yes, correct. Alicia Silverstone. Clueless. Yes, correct. John Hamm. Childless. Yes, correct. Chelsea Handler. Childless. Yes, correct. Jeremy Sisto. Clueless. Yes, correct. Fiona Apple. Childless. Yes, correct. Margaret Cho. Childless. Yes, correct. Did he get it? Yes, you win, Paul Rudd. You win, Clueless or Childless. Let's see your prize. Oh, you get to hang out with Mary Poppins. Oh, you're very oh, nice, nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. How are you today? Aren't you a lucky lad? Uh, excuse me. Can you, I told you to open up your umbrella. Oh, I'm so sorry. Would Jesus you, Christ. Can you open up the umbrella, Mary Poppins? It's a lovely day out today. Exactly. All right, all right. Making the most of her moment. Mary Poppins, get the f out of here. Oh, bye, Billy. Bye, Paul Rudd. Bye, Mary Poppins. <laughs>